Okay, in this section, this is where it gets fun. I'm going to introduce to you some more concepts utilizing the asymmetrical lines, the straight versus curves, volumes, force, and we're going to combine all of that and it will make our gestures look a lot more dynamic. I mean, this is why you're probably taking the course because you want your gestures to look like they're pushing with a lot of uh, fluidity and force. So up till now you have been doing gesture drawings that sort of just look like lines and you want to know how to get your gestures to look more like they can pop off the page and and give a punch and that's what we, we have been trying to learn when we were doing the master studies so that I, I can get you to see like me so you can see these forceful ideas because this is very important so that you can push the pose okay that's the topic of this course this uh course section is to push the pose and we're going to be studying for the next two lectures this cutie bunny right here she's an Ellen from Terra Terra okay the first thing I'll talk about or go over briefly is asymmetry Asymmetry. What asymmetry is, is that it's a tool. Now these are tools in your toolbox. I'll let me make this right clear here. These things that I'm about to go over are tools for your toolbox. Tools box. Tools box. You know, you use these and then you can change them and modify them to your liking to make the, is when you understand these, you can change and modify them. Now, asymmetry is the first one. Asymmetry. Now what asymmetry is, is that there are lines that go this way and this way. They are repeating lines that end and begin where you want to draw the line to and from here, like this, okay? And you use these lines to lead your, the viewer's eye one or to the next. Now they're for you, not the viewer, because no one really sees the gesture stage but you. But these lines lead from back to here, like in a zigzag fashion. That's the first tool. Now there are a couple, and you've been using this when you were doing in the previous lectures. Now there will come a point where you just can't rely on asymmetry. So the next tool that we use, the next one that we use is asymmetry and straights. Now why we use asymmetry and straights is so that you can stop your eye when you want to when you're doing the asymmetry and this is very useful when you want to show when you want to continue off from an asymmetrical line this will make more sense when we start doing the figures but when you're so you're making your asymmetry one here one here one here and then you come to a point where you want to use a straight and then after when you use a straight, you will probably go this way. You will go this way. And this is an abrupt fashion so that you can pick up where you leave off when you make asymmetry. So then you go this way and then continue on. The next tool in our toolbox is volume. So, what's volume and how we use it in a gesture? With what we combine 
volume with the asymmetry and the straights. So for volume, I see a lot of the times I will use cylinders to show if a leg or an arm is going back and forward in space. And so I will do an asymmetrical line here, asymmetrical line here, maybe a straight, and then I will combine a volume depending on how the lines are set up to go like this. So I will see the line that's going like that. This arm is going back in space, sort of like that. The next tool is force that we have been learning throughout this whole course so far. And that's just simply a forceful indicator of powerful push. And you'll be using this a lot. And against force, you will use straights so that you can build off of, off of the force. Sometimes when you want to use force, though, when I use force, to combine force with volume, I will use these, the um, greater and less than signs that you use in, you know, math, and they're on your keyboard, anyway. I will use a greater than sign, and then I will combine the force and put these in, in a sort of like a volumetric sense here, and wrap lines around them. So volume and, yes, wrapping lines. Okay. And that is all for the tools that we'll be using. Asymmetry, asymmetrical lines with straights, volumes, wrapping lines, force, these are, I call them brackets, and they are used to sometimes wrap the force in a volumetric sense to make it into shape. So this is shape. Um, forceful shape. They're called forceful shape. Yes. And this is what we're going to be using for the next two lectures to draw our cutie alien here in the next video.